Leonardo da Vinci was born in 1452 in Vinci, Italy. He was born during the Renaissance time, which is known as a rebirth, reawakening. Most of us know Leonardo da Vinci for his world famous painting, The Mona Lisa. However, much of what we use today, the parachute. the glider, the airplane, scuba equipment, military equipment, military tanks were actually first drawn and thought of by Leonardo. Now Leonardo did not have the time, the money, nor the technology to actually build all of his drawings. However, hundreds of years later, scientists and architects and artists have found his lost notebooks and from Leonardo's ideas, much of what we use today was actually built and is now successful. And we are so thankful to Leonardo for his innovations. Now what this film will focus in on today is Leonardo's fascination with flight. Leonardo was the first scientist to study aeronautics as a scientist. He was fascinated with flight. He studied it for 25 years. Now what he spent a great deal of time doing was studying bird wings. He would study bird wings, insects, and bats. He was fascinated with how these animals were able to fly. Leonardo truly believed that man had the ability to fly. He would study the bird wings. If you notice that the bird wing has curvature, it's curved on the top and flat on the bottom. He would dissect birds and bats to actually study the wings. Here's a model of a bat, and if you look at the bat, the bat has a very similar structure to the modern day wing. He would also dissect bats to see the wing structure. Now unfortunately, Leonardo, of all of his drawings and his innovations, everything that he drew that could fly was solely powered by man. and man did not have the ability to have lift. So what we're going to do today is we're going to focus in on the actual airplane structure, which is what actually allows an airplane to fly. Now if you look at an airplane wing, an airplane wing has curvature on the top, which comes directly from Leonardo's observations of bird and bat wings. The curvature on the top and the flatness on the bottom, that is called the airfoil. And the air is able to move faster over the wing than the air that moves underneath the wing. The difference between the pressure on top of the wing and underneath the wing is what causes the plane to have lift, which allows the plane to overcome gravity and to stay aloft. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to look at a structure you can build at home that will show you one of Leonardo da Vinci's innovations. Leonardo, later in his exploring flight, came up with what's called the helicopter, the helical screw helicopter. And I'm going to take a piece of construction paper. I'm going to fold it like this. And it's going to have blades. And this actual innovation of Leonardo's, the helicopter, came from an existing ancient Chinese uh, toy that children would use. And when we release this, the blades will spin, much like the modern day helicopter, and air gets trapped underneath, and it comes down slowly with gravity. Example of Leonardo's da Vinci helicopter, the blades are going to rotate, air is going to get trapped underneath here, pretty much like Bernelli's principle, and let's see what happens as I release Leonardo da Vinci's helicopter. So in summary, we can be very thankful for Leonardo da Vinci's innovations more than 400 years ago, which have helped today's modern day flight. His drawings of the helicopter, parachute, glider, and airplane have helped modern day flight today. He was more than 400 years before Wilbur and Orville's historical flight in Kitty Hawk, North Carolina. Through his study of bird wings, bat wings, insects, and how leaves and seeds fall, from plants, that has helped modern day flight.